Africa, the continental wildlife sanctuary, filled with poverty and suffering, war-torn lands, and princes that never respond to your emails. These are often the images and thoughts that come to mind whenever the word Africa is mentioned. But what if I told you that Africa has so much more to offer than these prejudices and stereotypes? Well, that's the purpose of this series. Hello, my name is Dijaji Prime and welcome to The Motherland, a weekly series where we will be discussing Africa, her countries, their people, cultures and traditions. Now, the etymology of the word Africa is shrouded in mystery and is often difficult to elucidate. It became the accepted Roman word, replacing the Greek or Egyptian word Libya, denoting the land of the Lebu. By the end of the first century, the word Africa had transformed from being a term used to designate the North African coastline to being used in reference to the entire continent. Now you might be wondering, what does this word actually mean and where does it come from? Well, there are a number of explanations and I'll be giving you two likely explanations. The first is that Africa is thought to come from a name of a Berber people, the Afarik, hence the name Afriga or Afrika to denote the land of the Afarik. The second is that it's thought to come from the Latin adjective Afrika meaning sunny or the Greek adjective Afriki meaning free from cold. Now Africa is a continent of 54 countries, over 3,000 distinct ethnic groups and well over 2,000 distinct languages. Africa is believed to be the birthplace of humanity and also give rise to some of the oldest, most powerful and richest empires and civilizations known to man. Africa is the only continent which extends continuously from the northern hemisphere through the equator and well into the southern hemisphere. Now, as I stated earlier, Africa is a continent of 54 countries, the newest of which being South Sudan. It is the second largest continent after Asia in terms of both area and population, with well over a billion people calling Africa home. Africa is extremely rich in natural resources, accounting for over 30% of all mineral resources found in the world. It also houses 40% of all gold reserves in the world and 90% of all platinum reserves in the world, with most of which coming from South Africa. Major languages spoken in Africa include Swahili, Lingala, Bambara, Arabic, Hausa, Afrikaans, Yoruba, and yes, we do speak English, with well over 130 million people being English speakers in Africa many of whom could be considered native speakers, having spoken the language since birth. Africa has a number of natural phenomena, such as the Nile River, which is the longest river in the world, and crossing many countries, such as Egypt and Sudan. Africa also has eight of 11 major environmental biomes, housing 85% of all elephants in the world and 99% of all the lions in the world. The Serengeti in Tanzania hosts the world's largest wildlife migration with well over 750,000 zebra and 1.2 million wildebeest engaging in this migration, culminating in a treacherous crocodile-infested river crossing. Africa also over the years has become increasingly progressive with the continent electing two female presidents over the past decade, Joyce Banda of Malawi being president from 2012 to 2014 and Ellen Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia from 2006 till date. Furthermore, three out of the top 10 countries in the world with the highest number of female representatives in both houses of parliament are in Africa, with Rwanda holding the number one spot with 63.8% of all members in being women. Now, despite its beautiful landscapes, its warm and ever happy people and immensely rich natural resources, Africa still faces a number of problems. The continent is still the poorest and most underdeveloped continent in the world, with its continental GDP accounting for 2.5% of global GDP. 40% of all adults in Africa are illiterate, with two-thirds of them being women. 
Many countries in Africa are still recovering from wars and various conflicts, such as Mali, Somalia, and Congo, not to mention various tribal and religious conflicts, and of course, the Boko Haram terrorist groups, which has ravaged many parts of Nigeria, Cameroon, Niger, and Chad. Now, popular African cities include Cairo in Egypt, Dakar in Senegal, Lagos in Nigeria, Kigali in Rwanda, Nairobi in Kenya, Johannesburg, and Cape Town in South Africa. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and were able to learn something new. Africa being the birthplace of humanity is indeed an integral part of humans in general. And it is my wish that more people learn more about my continent, which is one of the driving factors for this channel. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and be sure to check out my motherland video next week where we will be discussing Algeria. Thank you very much, have a blessed day, and goodbye.